All right, YouTube Pyro fans, this is a little uh, video to kind of compliment the last one I put up, which was called Mortar, Rap Tick, Mortar Rack Tips and Tricks. Somebody on uh, Pyrofan was asking about covering the tops of the mortars so you don't get crossfire. And uh, some people apparently don't do it. I've had problems with crossfire before, so I do cover the tops of my mortars. Especially if you've got, you know, racks that are potted very, very closely together. If you've got a rack, a rack, a rack, a rack, they're very close. That fire coming out of there can definitely uh, cross over to the next fuse. And there's just a couple other things I'll show and talk about. <clears throat> I've got these old anvil cutters that steal on brass. And we were, well, the cat just banged into the camera. That was nice. Um, we were talking about some different cutters in a different thread. These work. I also have some of these Sears ones. They make them, the big ones like this, and they make a smaller one. But anyway, uh, you want something safe and non-sparking. I've already chain fused that. I showed on the other video the little trick of just taking one piece of masking tape and just folding it over instead of wrapping the chain fuse. Once I get it fused up, I go to the distal end and cut the chain fuse. Another thing I do, I come cut off these little segments off of each shell fuse and get rid of those. They're not necessary. I'm sure there could be some problem I haven't thought of by leaving them in place. But whatever that problem is, I'm avoiding it by just chopping these little suckers off. So now that's all taken care of. I'm going to take this one off also. I'll put a talon on the end of that later. But anyway, the point was about covering the top. <clears throat> I used this really wide tape. Let's see how wide it is. Looks like, oh, 2.8, something like that, 2.9, which is wider than these tubes. These are fiberglass, but that'll work on HDPE also. So I just pull a piece off. that's the right length this dispenser is handy as hell I got a nice clean piece of tape I just stick it right across the top there and that's not very secure like that that tape will prevent crossfire. It may seem like it wouldn't because it's paper and it's flammable, but it works. That's all I can tell you is it works. Anyway, to secure it, I take some masking tape and just go to the end tube and tape it onto that tube. Same thing down here at the other end. I'm not going to tape this too secure right now. I need to be able to get under there and put my talon. But that wide piece of tape, a couple of pieces of securing tape here, uh, you want to secure that in the wind. This is basically just laying there. Even if you fold it down a little bit, it doesn't stick real well. So you could put more of these pieces of tape if you wanted to, you know, put more. But usually this works for me. The blue across the top or, or regular masking tape, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be wide enough is wide stuff. Then secure it with a couple side pieces. So, you know, if you've got your racks spread far apart from each other, you probably don't have to worry about the fire coming out of this tube lighting up the fuse on this rack that's sitting right here if you've got them potted tight together. This one is actually part of a V-pod. I don't even know if I need to put that tape on top, but I do anyway. But if you want to 
have a little extra insurance against crossfire. Just get you some wide tape, put it across the top, secure it with a couple of side pieces, more if you think you need it, depending on how windy it is. And I've never had one of these light up ahead of time. So this little trick works.